Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, as always, for tuning into Public Freakouts Unleashed, and thank you for your patience. I am adjusting myself to the new work schedule of having two channels to keep up with, but it is rewarding, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so <laughs> we got some really terrible footage to go over today, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorites ever. Uh, I've watched it like probably 20 times now, but this guy in a barista in a, a barista shop a coffee shop is berating the baristas and he gets called out by this other guy the one that's sitting down with the gauges you know for the way that he's treating these employees love that just right off the top uh it turns out this guy uh is a big hot shot hollywood movie director uh and he physically can't leave the store without dropping how much money he makes on everyone uh very very weird very lame you're busy. I see that. Order. I understand that. I'm busy too, dude. Oh. What are you doing for a living? What are you doing for a living? It doesn't matter. It's not about the money. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear you. Shut up. How about I can go outside and call me? Oh, yeah. What? They call him. I have a question. You're harassing me. Reminiscent of another old lady who just caused an accident in the Mc that was the DoorDash uh, driver who caused the accident in the McDonald's drive-through standstill lane. This is like the spiritual. I like to say the spiritual successor to that video. Uh, so this woman caused an accident, and then of course when she was asked to provide the details, minimized the amount of damage and gaslighted this woman. And I know everybody fake uses that word incorrectly, but actually did try to to convince this woman that she was crazy uh, and that there was actually nothing there, and she was making a big deal out of it. As stupid as you think I am, lady. I mean, you have a whole parking lot to park your vehicle, so. I didn't I was trying to get out. Yeah, I know. So you could get out and... No, nobody needs to run your mouth. Is your car all right or not? Uh, lose the attitude. Oh, I didn't even touch that. Is your car all right? No, it's not. Oh, where's, where's your damage? Uh, right here. Oh, it's a little dirt. Uh, it's not dirt. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, I didn't hit the side. Do you have insurance and your driver's you? license? Well, you I'll call. Pa I'll go ahead and call Palm Bay PD. You go I'm, ahead. I'm videoing You're everything. Ignorant. I'm ignorant. There's a little... You have an entire parking lot. You backed into my vehicle. I asked you to park, and as I'm looking at the damage of my car, you there about ran no me damage. over. There's some dirt. There's cameras everywhere. Well, Sorry. Well, oh well, good for you. You're such a smart ass, mouthy bitch. Uh, as we stand in a church parking lot. Well, you're the one that's. I just touched it. There is I'm walking from here, watching my vehicle move forward as you back oh, into it. I didn't oh, come on, lady. I Do you have insurance? I'm not going to argue with you. Stop. He was so you. you. As well, I'm over there. Right into such an ass. I'm an ass because you ran into my vehicle. Do you I have Do you have it. car insurance and your driver's no, license? No, you're not getting it. Okay. So this is pretty crazy. This woman in the next video who's recording, um, she finds a bunch of kids that were left in the car so that their mom could go into this place and gamble while they sat in the car. Uh, the woman recording this video had a huge problem with that and she took it upon herself to go confront the mom in front of everyone, uh, which is obviously extremely entertaining for us. You won't come in? How the hell does this happen to me? There's three little kids in the car. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Oh my god. Thank you. Hey, are these your kids out here in the car? Are you just leaving your kids out here in the car? Am I gonna have to whoop your ass too, like the last bitch that left her kids in the car? 
out here with your kids, dude. I am. Like, I can play the cop. Dude, that's not even cool. How old are these kids? Well, the police are on their way. I hope you know. That is not cool. You don't leave little kids like that in the car. They're fine. They're not fine. They're you know you're right here. She's got little kids out here. You better get gone quicker than that. How does this happen to me? I'm not. But how does that happen to me? This is the latest example of employees sticking up for themselves where they otherwise probably wouldn't have. This guy is attacked by a rabid customer because apparently she got mushrooms on her Philly cheesesteak and she didn't want mushrooms. Uh, there's actually a lot more to this story. I will probably be covering um, you know, the, the rest of the footage and the backstory on The Reckoning. Subtle and tasteful plug as always. Uh, yeah, so check this out. Dirty the Hey, you gotta get your you girl. No, he recorded me as well, Yeah, I'm recording my Fuck Exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing it for. Stop. Exactly what I'm doing it for. Because he tried to sit here. It's common knowledge. It's common knowledge. People have questions all the thing. They call me a bitch. You call me a bitch. So you. You coming at me here. You think I'm just gonna sit there and take it? You gonna sit there and call me a bitch talking about my getting hurt? I have self respect for myself, all right? Fuck I you. Too, all right, cool. And don't I come at me. Bitch. Don't come at people yelling bitch. at them like that. Call them shit. It's not how I expect to be called a bitch, all right? You call me a don't, bitch. Don't act like a bitch. People will call you a bitch. Simple as that. There's your Philly. Take your Philly and get out. Take your Philly and leave. Yeah. Embarrassing yourself out here. Look at you. You're embarrassing yourself. I'll post it everywhere. I'll post it everywhere. Post it everywhere. Post it everywhere. The clip you're about to see will contend with most thrillers of the last five years that you've watched. This family, particularly this guy, breaks into the person recording this video's house in the middle of the night, uh, screaming their head off, saying uh, that he hit their daughter with a car. Uh, this guy has never met this person before. He has no idea who he is. Uh, and eventually that guy realizes, oh, oh, shoot, we might actually have uh, the wrong house. Sorry. This is the wrong house. Go away. <laughs> this is not your house. Get the <laughs> away. <laughs> this is not your house. Go away. <laughs> what the point? I want my mother. This is not the right house. This is not the right house. Oh shit! Where is he? Who are you looking Where for? Is he? Who are you looking for? Get out of here now. Who are you looking Where for? Where is he? Let's go. The cops will handle it. Let's go. Where is he? Who? 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 Where is Your he? Brother. Your brother. Your brother. I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother. You might be at the wrong house. Who are you looking for? What's his name, Haley? What's his name? I am so sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My, he hit my daughter with a car after. He hit my daughter with. I, we have been here the entire time. We have not left the house. And, and I'll pay for this. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Who are you looking for? Come here. Come outside. I'm sorry. I'm not coming outside. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry. No. I thought, I thought. S stay away, please. Who are you this looking might, for? This is be... not. This is the wrong house. I'm sure. I'll pay. I'll pay for. I'll okay. Pay for What's your what, name? What's his name? Wayland. What's his name? Wayland. Wayland. We, we do not know, know anybody with that name. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're at the wrong house. They said that he, he gave this address. This is the wrong I address. So I am so terrible. sorry. We do not know You're anyone with that address. I'm so scared. Here, here, here. He here, ran take my money. daughter here. over with a car. Here, take money. I don't, oh. I don't want money. We just I want you to so leave. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Take it. I'm he sorry. He gave your address. He gave me your address. Well, I don't I'm even sorry. live here. I am so sorry. Why would you not have the police come in? We have the police come I don't think so. We have the police come in. Can you just... Here's 200. Here's 200. I'm sorry. Can you just give us your name or your phone number? Yeah. Robert. Yeah. Get, get me, you just want me to pay for it? I'll pay for it. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm a contractor. I'm a contractor. I am so sorry. He gave this We do not do this. This is illegal. We could take legal action against you. I understand. Please. Please just leave. 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 Thank you.
The next video was uploaded to Reddit about six days ago with the following title or um, description. Psychos in Overland. I was walking my dog and watched them cut someone off at Broadway and Illith and they sped into the neighborhood. I was crossing the street with my dog and I had to jog to avoid them, so I flipped them off and then this happened. Thank you to the people at the end for intervening, which I'm assuming were just other neighbors that heard this going on and got sick of the noise. <coughs> What are you gonna do to a 90 pound girl? I ain't gonna do but you're the one that started. You can't back your ass up, then you shouldn't do it. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. What are you gonna do to a 90 pound girl? Don't start shit if you can't finish, bitch. That's what you should do. Learn your lessons. Learn to Actions. regulate your emotions. Actions regulate have consequences. What, regulate what? Your emotions. Well, actions. Mommy, call your daddy, so actions have consequences. I don't have parents. Actions have not, consequences. Because I'm sure they got rid of your ass. Actions have consequences. White trash. You That's are. you, not me, baby, because I ain't white. Think about it twice. Well, you're still trash. You're trash because you flip people off because you think you're all that in a bag of chips, you, you bitch. You think you're all that shit, bro. If you want to hey. flip me off, let's do it. Shut the f up and get back here. Oh, you, bitch. Get the f here. Oh, fuck you, too, white bitch. Keep driving. Keep driving, bitch. Keep driving, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Go for it. All you these folks ran into a uh, couple in Pittsburgh who were absolutely off their rocker. Um, apparently, they flipped out, like, what you're about to see is all over uh, the person who recorded this video parking too close to their car. Now, granted, we can't see how close he parked to their car. It might have been absurdly close, uh, but even if it was... I think that this is probably safe to say that it's an overreaction, what you're about to see. So uh, they also dialed 911 and threatened to have them arrested over this. Just something to keep in mind. Yes, yes, it's two guys fighting. And you, these two parked. You, you shut put the your phone hands off. on me. We have a fucking video. Shut the phone you off. touched me, sir. So you are me. a I don't You care. touched me. You're the one yeah. got in my jail, face. Dog. Hey, dog, you're going to jail. Yeah. You're, you're going, going to, to jail. jail. You're Dude. Who cares? No, I care. Why don't I you care? What do you want to do? Who cares? I care. You touched me. Business. You put you your hands on me. Let I have a problem. You are me. such Why a clown that you can't even fucking hear me. Why are you doing this? 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 Why are you uh, it looks around Christmas time, but it, it turned out that this video was also very interesting, so I threw it in for good measure. And, I don't know, am I crazy? That's that's the same woman, right? I'm not nuts, right? Back inside the store. I'm just so grabbing it in the car. Okay, you can leave this in here if you're gonna pay for all this. I have you on camera. Put it down. Sure, sure. Yes, yeah. you're not gonna get another card. I can guarantee you, you're not gonna get it. Oh. Put it down. Let me see if I can grab it for you. Hello. Open We're open for about another or, five minutes. I'm going to go through your bag, or I'm going to call the police. Let me give me your bag. You are not allowed to Are you kidding me right now? Open your bag. I will. Get off of me, please. Open your bag. I'm opening it. If you'll get off of me, please. This is all ours. Take it off. Get off of me, please. Take it off. Get off of me, please. Take it off. You can't just steal Yeah, okay. I am? Yes, 
Santa. You cannot insult people like that. Trashy ass boots out of here. So I've become very curious about the fate of this next woman. Um, she was <laughs> captured on camera by a Hispanic family uh, because they were playing uh, music, Mexican music, uh, apparently too loud in this park where that woman and her husband were fishing. Uh, they didn't like how loud and annoying they thought the music was, so they came over and just went like level 10 absurd as I like to say, comically racist. Uh, and obviously we don't endorse this woman's behavior. Uh, goes without saying, I would hope. You know how to do it. Bye, bye Karim, bye, 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 bye. You know what, in America, we speak English. So? We don't have to listen to Who say that, who say that? Who say that? Who yeah. say that? Right. Lo dijo? Can you speak Spanish? I'm just gonna tell Spanish. you what, Senor. Go fish. When go the fish. authorities <laughs> come <laughs> to <laughs> shut <laughs> your. Okay, Karen, bye, Karen, bye. You wanna talk to the manager? You don't wanna. You know what? Mr. Hmm? Trump will say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my thank God. You. Pescaste. Us Republicans. Oh my God. Love Mr. Donald Trump. Are you drunk? Don't want to hear this crap. And well, we don't want to hear you. All we're to do is fish. All we want to do is fish. Go no, and fish. We can't. Because all we hear is your goddamn you hear music. Do you fish with your hands? Shut <laughs> You know oh, how to Jesus use them? Christ. But I have to teach you. What an asshole. I have to teach you. you what an you asshole. Are oh, God. No, we, we don't fish food, with okay? our hands. Americans fish with poles, and they don't have to hear this goddamn okay, music bye -bye. while they're fishing. Time. Time's we want silence. Time's fishing. Uh, if you want is silence, go to, to your home. Silent. And close your mouth. You know what? Senor. Uh, That's the only word you can say in Spanish. Yeah. You know what? Karen. Okay. Tacos <laughs> and margarita. <laughs> margarita. Oh, wow. You know what? People fishing don't Yeah, you forget margarita. Who cares? Who cares? I do. I do, I do bitch. Oh, I do. do. Whatever the hell you want, but leave I do. us alone. We don't want to hear yeah. We don't want to hear this crap. With us. This is crap. This isn't American music. I can't even go off. Because you know what? This is the Can United you States of I love your speech. America <laughs> and a United States of America. <laughs> Such a <hell> way. <laughs> Not this crap that wow. all these people are fishing. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to your goddamn. So when I call them, yeah, your husband is coming. And they, when they come down, you'll know who sent them. Who, Karen? When the police. Bye, Karen. Come. Bye, bye. Oh no! Don't, bye. Don't buy me. Uh -huh. bye. Why? What are you gonna do? Oh, 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 oh! I don't know. I don't know how that language <laughs> works. Oh, oh God. God! You're going so viral. Music down. Why? Why? Because Here. It's annoying. When you I thought I got. <laughs> you don't want to hear annoying music. Why? It's so good. Do you fish? Yes. Okay. Well, go. go the yeah. You are. You guys don't care about anybody else. You're that's, that's so disrespectful. Thing. This is a fishing resort. Why you don't a go out there and talk to them? Because and you have unfortunately, and you're not oh, I know, I know, senor. The manager is not today. The manager is not today. You are so I call them Mexican. If you're not disrespectful. I think you're disrespectful by calling Mexican. If you're not Mexican. Bye, bye. 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 Puerto Rico has much right in America as you do. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I think it's an open heart. Oh, don't want to hear it. Oh, let's go on, Okay, let's do whatever the hell you want. How about you, bitch? When you do whatever I want, I'm not playing yourself. Bye. 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 Bye.
Adios! 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 This neighbor records a very loud argument through the door of their apartment of their next door neighbor arguing with the other neighbors in that area uh, of this apartment complex about their noisy dog. Now apparently their dog has been very noisy when they leave and it is disrupting the peace and tranquility of the neighborhood for everyone else. So uh, they're getting very defensive in this clip uh, and you can you can hear by how clearly you can hear this argument through the door. You can imagine how loud uh, something like this would probably be. Probably a little frustrating and I have been the person with the barking dog in an apartment before. You know what I did? I moved. I moved. They are very sweet, believe it or not, and we have bought more than enough things to try to sound them. We've tried shock collars, not the shocky ones, but the buggy ones. We have tried the sonar, we have tried water, we have tried it. They just bark. Okay? Do you want to pay for that? Do you want to pay for that, though? Oh my gosh. Excuse me? No, ma'am, recording someone without their consent is not a felony, and since it obviously seems like you are outside of your apartment while this is all going on, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy. Carry on. Uh, when you get it, uh, he's in the uh, uh, Come on out, your show is free. Hey, 11J, nice to meet you, I'm Stephanie. Honestly, if you have a problem, talk to us. Also, you don't have to email them. Yeah, they're not working. Even though we're out here, we're out here explaining to you. My name is Miss Sam, actually. If you're, if you're gonna be like that, my name is Miss Sam, this is Mr. Esser. When your dog, those dogs bark at every single movement. And? Are they in your apartment? Another dog, dog in the Maybe you need to get out at 5.30 in the afternoon. I work too. Where do you go? That's illegal. Oh God. It is illegal. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. die. This guy seems to think he's some kind of like parking enforcement, but he's calling himself an auditor. <laughs> uh, none of this really seems to make a whole lot of sense, but he's very upset and he wants the guy recording this video to know that. Uh, and, and something to do with parking, I'm pretty sure. What here is this, amigo? Are you okay? Who are you? What's your problem? You know what an auditor is? I don't know what that is. You tell me. Well, you're gonna find out the hard way. <laughs> you don't come into this country and stand ignorant and think you can be above the law. Am I clear? No. Say it again. 
You cannot come into this country and think you're above the law. How am I above the law? Your car's being towed for breaking the law. Yeah, I didn't turn my wheel either. Are you backing him or me? I'm just letting you know. My, I, I Both of you can stay right there. Alright, I'm not going nowhere. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to leave. Can you please? Oh, you wasn't saying that a minute ago! I'm trying you to leave. You were leaving a minute ago! I was packing up to leave. What oh. are you. Can you please get off the vehicle? Not until I got your name, little boy! Sonic works for me. Sonic works for you? Okay. You ever heard of Twitter's CEO? Can you please get off the vehicle so I could be on my call way? Call the cops. I'm not going to... like it. This is not necessary for me to call the cops. Well, it's necessary I do my job. Since you're in denial that I'm capable of doing it. Are we clear? No. You don't know what an auditor is. One inch GPS. You do now, f*** <laughs> off. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for keeping us safe. The people recording this next video are in the car behind this red car in line at the drive-thru listening to this guy belligerently berate the employee. Um, I don't I don't know what happened before this video, so I don't know if this was like justified actually or not. Uh, the guy honestly sounds like he probably shouldn't be driving. Just going to throw that out there. This woman uh, experienced something that I would say was a little strange. Uh, this guy comes up and starts sniffing and licking the hood of her car while she's eating on her lunch break. Uh, she doesn't really like this. She finds it a little strange, so she takes, uh, well, she tries a couple different methods to get him to stop. He doesn't seem deterred until the very end. Okay, I was to eat. Ça fait trois quarts d'heure qu'il est là, devant ma voiture. Et voilà qu'il se met à lécher ma voiture. Eh, C'est un mec, mais trop bizarre. Allez, dégage Allez, dégage Dégage Allez, dégage This family is in a dispute with another family on it. It looks like a cruise ship. It appears to be a cruise ship. I will correct that later on if I'm wrong, but uh, guessing it's a cruise ship. This family, apparently one of the, the young man who was with them, uh, got seasick and puked on the person recording this video. <laughs> um, but then they were rude afterward about it and refused to apologize. They don't really think they have anything to apologize for. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Tell me your moral stance on this video and who's right and who's wrong. Call the police. You can keep recording while you 
This guy had what I, you know, the, I, this struck me as like an, an awkward, like a very awkward, weird encounter. Just something seemed off with this to me. Zane and Kiara, please. No, no, no. What are you, ta what are you talking I'm about? I'm picking up for Zane this, and Kiara. Know, what are you telling me in, in the speaker? You lied to me, sir. No. You lied you, to me. You need respect because you told I'm not doing your job. You told me to go over yes. there. And because you don't tell me nothing in the speaker. And you sir, you are wasting, you are wasting my time. Answer the Uber because I'm respecting you. There are two clients waiting. No, please, okay? Sir. Because you need respect. Every time you, you come, you need respect because I'm respect everybody. Sir. Okay? You told me to wait and I waited. So the guy recording this next video is a problem solver. He noticed that there was a huge pileup of cars that couldn't get out of this parking garage. This takes place in the UK. Uh, so he goes up to figure out what's wrong. Apparently there is a dispute between the uh, company that lifts the gate that you're supposed to be paying money to every month to get out. This woman in the car says she's been paying, uh, I think she said $80 a month for this. Uh, apparently she's been paying the wrong company according to uh, the person on the other end of the intercom. Despite this massive car pileup, the person on the other end of the intercom is refusing to let anyone out of this place. Um, so this guy goes and investigates and gets to the bottom of it, eventually gets the whole thing solved. Very interesting story start to finish. This traffic jam has been like this for too long now. This guy won't do anything. Hey, what's going on? Like, what's my cars have been working and they're not actually letting me out of the actual thing because they're saying I've got to pay $25, but I don't have the $25 on me. And like, I pay $88 a month for the car park cost. Yes. And it's not working and they're actually not letting me out. Oh, okay. And they're telling me that I need to ring the, um, uh, like the actual company, but they're closed. They're not answering their phone. And then I can't get out. They're actually not letting me out. Dear Mrs. how can we help? Yeah, you've got about a hundred cars in this car park because one of your machines aren't working. This lady has a membership to get out of here. Like she actually had, does not have a valid membership. I know, she doesn't I know, have one at I all. I know it's not valid, but I, I can't actually get hold of the I'm people. I'm sorry, but if everybody else must pay for their car park, so should you. I know, but I pay the $88 per month. I pay the $88 per month. Yes, and everybody and month. you don't do it to us. Your park, it's not one that we manage for well, you. Then what's the number that I actually bring? Call you the people who you pay your cars through and ask them to sort it out. Well, I have you don't have one existing. I have run that number and it's like, um, so either reverse yeah, or we pay can't, the amount on screen. We can't reverse. Can't You've got reverse. like a hundred cars here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but she must pay if everybody else she must don't pay. Open, so she the, open the gate and I'll pay for her. No, or you can pay for her if you want to exit. Yes, I will pay for her, but like I said, I've ran halfway up a hill. As I mentioned to her, this is her business, this is her pass. She must pay the amount on screen. If that is, if she's got a valid yeah. pass and they just haven't updated it, she'll be refunded. Look, what I'll do is I'll pay for her, but I can't run back to my car because there's a big tra traffic jam because the lady doesn't have any money. Well, I'm sorry, miss, but you must sort out your parking. You don't yeah, have but a valid we, membership. we all can't leave like without... the one you might have had with us years ago, but you don't have one now. So, with the validation, can you be quiet for a second, please? Can you be quiet for a second? I'm sorry, but you're not... Okay, well, that's not to us. You're not paying it to us. Okay, then who am I paying it to? I don't know. Check your bank statements or check the instructions that you receive. It says per car that comes out every month, and I pay it 
Hold on, one second. Excuse me. What's going on is she's trying to explain herself to you, right? So she can be a true. For the last maybe half an hour, this isn't the first time she's contacted us. Well, it's not my fault that she my gets out of here. the last week hasn't been valid. Please say the amount on screen. I'm sorry, but if everybody else knows, you've, been, you've passed here all day. That's an all-day fee. But how is it my fault if my card expired? Fine, but, but I'm sorry, you've passed here all day. Can you just let her out and I'll pay her. I'll tell you no, what my number plate I'm is. I'm sorry, we can't. So how are we all I'll supposed to get out? We're going to just stay here. Pay for her yeah, but I the can't. The rules are clearly stated at the entry gate. I, I get it. Um, what I'm trying to do, what, what I'm trying to do is pay for it. But you just, I can't get my car to you because there's about a hundred cars because you're not trying to. Well, I'm sorry, but you can either end the credit card here at the gate to help her pay for her fee. Well, she must organize how she's going to pay for her car parking today. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is I am going to pay for her, right? But the car is about a hundred cars down. I've ran all the way up the hill because there's a massive traffic jam because you're not being a human being and working with us so we can I'm solve sorry, this problem. I'm sorry, but you, the terms and conditions we have been a human being. The lost ticket, we haven't applied the lost ticket fee here. If, we, so uh, we if someone is willing to pay the lost the ticket fee, but what I'm trying to say is just so I don't get, like, I have to run all the way back to the car, I'll give you my number plate. Okay, please do so. There isn't anything I can do from my side. Yes, there is, because I work in the centre. So if you want a problem, well, I will make a massive problem. Must pay for their parking. Yes, and I'm going to pay for her parking, but what I'm trying okay, to do... so well, we'll, wait, we'll wait for you. That's not a problem. But how can you? Because there's like 20 cars behind There's you more than 20. There's probably well, about 100. I'm going to pay for your parking. Yeah. Yeah, open the... There's more than 30. Open the door. Open the door. I know you can't do this. It's not right. I pay my $88 per month. You Every haven't month paid. I'm telling you. Send us a copy of your screenshot then so that everybody can exit. I've got you on record anyway. I'm going to report you to the centre management. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. So the same guy posted a follow-up video the next day that kind of goes into more detail of what was really going on here and clears up any questions that you might have had from watching that last clip. Just thought it was worth including at the end here. Good morning, TikTokers. Whoa, thanks for the support that I got on this car park thing. But the problem wasn't the lady paying for her actual ticket. The problem was that this hazard has been there like this for two months now and they have not fixed it. So it was a massive, massive, massive fire hazard. They should have had it fixed. What happened if there was a fire? A lot of people were asking me, so what ended up happening? A gentleman from another car ended up walking over and demanding the lady on the speaker to open the door. And for some lucky reason, that very rude lady answered the speaker and let us all out. So thanks for all your support, guys. And um, have a good TikTok day. Here we go. Thanks so much for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed yourselves, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time.